Salutations. What's happening? This is Lagging Out. I'm your host, Funny Guy. Thanks for joining us on Twitch, YouTube, and Google Hangouts, where we discuss video games, science fiction, movies, I guess. Anything, I guess, what, nerd-oriented, would you say? I would say that. That would be fairly accurate. And that's my co-host, the Chieftain, right there. Hello. Sitting in tonight, uh, we have Moa Beat. Yep, that's me. And uh, our special guest tonight is, I have your real first name. I have oh, your real first name. Oh, I gave it away. Well, it says it when you talk. It's Lethal Minx, but that's okay. <laughs> we won't give out your last name. Lethal Minx, there we go. I appreciate it, so no one tries to find me on Facebook later. <laughs> you have 37 new friend requests. What? Well, I'll tell you what. If you get 37 new friends requests, then we're doing horrible because we <laughs> can't beat that. But, so, but. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> so I am your host, uh, Funny Guy with Chieftain. We're here talking about uh, video game stuff. Uh, news in the world of gaming as it relates to games, products out there uh, on the marketplace and whatnot. Uh, we are sponsored by, and want to give a special uh, thanks to our sponsors before we get started tonight, uh, Gamer Gloves. Uh, save 15% on your next pair of Gamer Gloves when you get the coupon code, which we'll give out a little bit later on in the show. And you can see them right here. I've got a pair right here. You want to play like the pro? Wow, look at like those. Those are fancy. Go to thegamergloves.com, and then you'll type in a coupon code on checkout, and uh, you'll save 15% on your next pair. Uh, they're very nice. You can use them for gaming. You can also use them to what you use them to work out in, yeah. don't you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, some people I know have used them for uh, bike riding. A couple people in our clan are bikers. I know that they wear them when they go biking and stuff. So it's, uh, you know, not just for gaming, but uh, definitely, definitely keeps the hands sweating the controllers in your palm. It works really well if you're a PC gamer as well. Yeah, and there you go. And that's from our resident PC player. So, <laughs> um, yeah, there you go. So... Stay tuned. We'll give you a coupon code. Also, I want to say thanks to Cursed Underground Gaming. Do you want to jo join a fun and competitive gaming community? Then you want to join Cursed Underground Gaming. We just reached 1,000 members recently. If you're interested in a free form, structured, or even a pro branch, then look no further than Cursed Underground Gaming. Go like their page on Facebook at Cursed Underground Gaming. All right, and also a special shout out to the Fierce Gaming Females. Uh, they support all gamers, and uh, we do too, but we do like the female kind. And uh, if it's Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, these ladies will post about it. So check them out on their Facebook page. It's the Fierce Gaming Females, and uh, they uh, love their fans. They like to have fun with them on their page, so uh, go like their page today, okay? And in continuing on tonight, our special guest... Uh, I don't know if you've been following the show, but uh, you want to explain what's going on here, Chieftain? No, what I don't we're doing want to explain and, it. Yeah, you should. I don't want to. I think you should. Okay, well, what we're doing is uh, occasionally <laughs> our, our, our regular, semi-regular co-hostess, uh, Zombie Killer, she's out sick with the flu because she lives back east. So, and occasionally, you know, she, she like all of us, has a life. We, we all have responsibilities outside of the show. And uh, she... Um, can't always be here, so we're having what's uh, what basically a great female host search for lagging out. So, uh, you know, um, if you are uh, female, uh, if you're into games, uh, if you like talking about video games, then we'd like to hear from you, and you can message us on our Facebook page, or you can drop us an email uh, at laggingout at gmail.com. This week's guest, hey, Lethal funny Banks, what? Um, I'd rather prefer them to message us directly on Facebook if that's cool. 
Okay, sure. Hey. Facebook. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no other particular reason than it's Chieftain's wishes. So. Well, I'm um, one of the producers that do this stuff a lot in the background, and it actually saves me time if I can actually manage everything in uh, one area. So hit us up on Facebook. It's it's fine by me. Thank uh, you. Forget the email that I told you about, but I'll give it out again anyway later. Yeah, go ahead, give it out again. So uh, let me give uh, our introduction <laughs> here to Lethal Minx. Uh, now I. This is your intro that was given to me, so do you want to read this or do you want me to read it? Uh, uh, you know, I want to hear what it sounds like coming out of your mouth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, I meant that uh, too. That could be taken so many different ways. I'm All right. Whatever All right. way you want. Giggity, giggity. <laughs> um, She's the type of girl you don't take home to. No, I'm being funny. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> she's, the maybe, maybe. she's the type of girl who hardly ever has to go out. A comfortable night spent playing Gears of War is good enough for me. Her words, I'm assuming. <laughs> no. Um, all right, look. All right, all right, all right. You've Hold been on. gaming for longer than SpongeBob has been on TV. That's a pretty long time. Uh, <laughs> if you suck at a game that I love, don't worry. I'll absolutely be the backseat gamer until eventually... Watching is so pitiful that I wind up stealing the controller from you. She's <laughs> lethal and I'm minxy, which is why she selected a stealthy gamer tag. Please welcome Lethal Minx. Let me get my press there. All right. <laughs> All right. You know, people talk about grammar. It's funny. I'll go off on a tangent here. People talk about grammar. So when I get the text messages that I get from people, I mean, really? <laughs> okay, you, and then the number two? I mean, really? And I'm supposed to sit here and... And she's the type of girl. I, I get what you're saying. Believe me, I, I do hear you. You it does kind of. I have a question for you though, Dan. But at the same who's time, who's the head like, writer? Who's the head all writer? All of the but what I'm my, who's my the point head is, writer? <laughs> what I'm getting at is that um, I'm the head reader. Uh, as it, what I'm getting at is um, that in this day and age, I think with email and like text messaging and everything in general, like I, I personally. And I know this isn't true to a degree, but I think it's going this way that the rules of grammar and even proper spelling are kind of out of the window these days. You know what? Right. When people text me completely like wrong spelling, wrong grammar, I kind of think of that movie Billy Madison, where it's like, you know, we are all now dumber having heard that. Right. I get what you're saying, but when I'm sending texts, it's like a chat. It's like I'm sending, you know. I've had people say to me, I go, why do you send text messages? Well, I don't have time to talk to somebody. Well, you know what we did before we had text messaging? We waited until we had time to talk to somebody, and then we called them. We didn't type them 8,000 letters. If I want to write you, I'll send you a postcard. You know what I'm saying? I, I, to me, texting is more like a on-the-fly chat. Yeah. So those kind of things for me kind of go out the window. And I've had people like criticize me for it before, but I'm like, you know, you could have just as easily called me and asked me the six questions you just spent 10 minutes typing out in proper English. Yeah, but you were probably using the bathroom. <laughs> well, you know, nice to know. It does happen, it does happen, it does happen a lot, really. <laughs> he does have an enlarged prostate. It, well, no, it does. I'm, I'm not saying that that kind of stuff doesn't happen. I don't have a large prostate. <laughs> he doesn't. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't know. And, uh, <laughs> why do you take it there? Why? Cobra Commander does not approve! Oh no! Hail Cobra! The reason why we got 400 views is because of Cobra because Commander. Of him. Watch Lay It Out every other Sunday! Cobra! The live, um, action, the live action emoticons from chat, like when people do this. Yeah. And that's a, that's, that's a band phrase. Emoticons. <laughs> oh. it's, like, I, even I, our I, language has changed. That's kind of my right. point. Like, does it? Is it all really that important? I mean, I think in some instances it is. I always thought an emoticon was a, like a transformer. So someone just told me the other day it was uh, it was something on text. So no idea. <laughs> come on, Dan. come on, funny guy, come on. That's got me good. You're killing me. <laughs> I think we got a new Photoshop Friday image. So uh, let's talk about some new games. Anybody played anything new? I played some new games this week. I played some new free-to-play games, if you're watching. So did I. And yeah. you got some Xbox 360 action going on. I don't know if you know this, but every two weeks... What, are, did, what, what did I say at the beginning of the show? 
our, uh, every two <laughs> weeks. Our, That's my um, mom calling me. Yeah. Listening ears. Um, every two weeks, Xbox puts out a free game to gold players. And I don't know why, I don't know if World of Tanks was a free, just straight up free game, but I know that the newest free to play that they're giving away is World of uh, Toy Soldiers. Yeah. Did you, play, did you play either of those? Did anybody play any of these? I played that funny guy. No, you didn't? No. I played it. It was fun. I Toy liked Soldiers? It. I liked it. I thought it was <laughs> a awesome. really romping good time. Yeah, it's pretty fun. It's it, it, it's different, you know? I, I love the little um, homage to uh, Rambo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In it, the, the commando comes out, he goes, and he starts like mowing people yeah. down with a minigun. It's awesome. You want a piece of me? You, you want, want a piece of me? <laughs> you know, some of those games are just gold. It's like it shows that you don't need to have like a big production company to do like a really good quality game. It's, you yeah, know, the gameplay's fun. Um, fun. I beat it on three different difficulties so wow. far. Wow. Damn. I beat it on casual, normal, and hard. Uh, hard was pretty darn hard, let me tell you. Where do you uh, find time for all this? When he's not quick. when he's not doing the production for the show, like he's supposed to. I'll give you, to be I'll give you an games. idea. It took me. When he's not writing for the show, he's doing that. So he has a lot of time on his hands. Well, let me put it to you this way: when I, I was doing research, that's research. <laughs> yeah, right, right. With. Um, I forget how many levels there are, but the night I download, I downloaded it on a Friday night when I got home from work, and I beat it all the way on normal in about three hours maybe. Wow. Something like that. And then I went back and beat it on casual in a couple of hours. Hard was kind of hard. It took me, the last level, it took me about two hours to beat that. But getting to that level was maybe a total of two hours, game time, three hours, game time tops. When it comes to a game like that, funny guy, it's not like whether you're good or bad. It's whether or how much you enjoy it. You know, does it? Well, does it, you enjoy it, but there are times to take control of, of your pieces and, and attack the incoming onslaughts. Right. And there are times when to let the AI do its thing. Right. So, you know, I mean, you know, and when to call in your special barrages and stuff like that. Right. So. so you have like your artillery, and you kind of set that up. Um, if you guys haven't seen it, you guys can check it out on Xbox Gold. I think it's still still there. I think it, I think it's like two bucks now if it's not free anymore. But I would suggest checking that out. That gets uh, three lag bars up for me. So um, yeah, that was like, a pretty uh, fun game. I like so, that. And uh, World of Tanks was kind of fun too. Yeah, I have a lot. Of yeah, that, that was originally a PC game, as everybody knows, and I had a lot of people on my friends list playing that, which people love that game, and um, if you go to a lot of um, GDC conferences, that's a game developers conference like I do, um, World of Tanks has been a lot around for a long time, and I've seen like they have these specialty booths and these beautiful displays, and I'm like, what the heck is this game? And uh, it started to get really um, popular in the last two or three years, and now it's like switched from PC to console, and now every everyone who's on console is like falling in love with the game, like it's like a new game, you know. And yeah, it's um, very enjoyable. I talked to a few people who played it on PC and then played it on Xbox, and they said that it made the transition real well. It was a good so, smooth transition. Yeah, and, and I, uh, I've I put some time into it. It's fun. Cool. Uh, the Titanfall beta came out. Anyone play that beta? I did. You did. Yeah, well. Um, I got to play a grand slam of like 15 minutes of it. Um, and really, really, I don't have an Xbox One. <laughs> I'm single. It, if you want to buy one. Well, they can release it on. Th they're releasing it on 360. I no longer have a 360 because at the time when I traded it, and I thought it was a very useless console because everything this I loved was on the PS3. Except for Gears of War. <laughs> right, right. This is the crazy thing, though. The Titanfall for the Xbox 360 is being made by a completely different developer. So what? it might not even be the oh. same game. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's a different developer is going to be making the 360 version. But I played it, the Origin version, which when it came into open beta, they were stress testing the servers. And for an EA game, it worked fantastic. I mean, I got into games yeah. right away. And, uh, yeah, so fantastic. Fantastic! It's a it's good cabin. but yeah, I have probably about nine hours into it before it got taken away from me, so, ripped out of my hands, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so the, it was describe the game fun. to us from a person who's talked played the game. How, talk to us. How, so that's yeah. what we want to know. What's it? Is it? It uh, is. You know. 
just think of uh, the maps kind of like as big as the Call of Duty Ghost maps, or a bit bigger, really. And uh, there's a lot of stuff going on, and it, it really has a smooth transition. Like A lot of people were mad about the 6 versus 6 combat, but I think it's perfect because that allows only 6 titans on the field per team at one time. And there's all these AIs, um, and then it's not just like completely weak AIs. And yeah, there are the ones that will just sit there and stand at you while you just rack up points and shoot them in the head. Um, but then you got the other AIs, which will actually focus mainly on your Titan, try to take your Titan down. So it puts a little strategic in there, and it's an ex- extremely smooth game. I have never yeah. played a game as smooth as Titanfall. Yeah, so you thought it was know. running at 60 frames a second when you were playing it? Uh, for the most part, I was getting like 54 because I had everything up on okay. Max, and uh, I was playing it on a PC as well. And that was a... I have a GTX 780 graphics card, so it's... Uh, it ran really smooth, especially. But I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, and I was running about nine background programs, so I probably could have bumped it up to 60 smooth. So a lot of people um, are saying it's it's going to be the Call of Duty killer. You think so? Because I do. <laughs> a Call of Duty killer is... The thing is, Call of Duty is such a big fan base of little kids that are so biased towards the game they play. It, they can't kill it. Like I, It's, it's yeah, going to be that thing that never dies. Um, it's like a vampire. <laughs> it's like Madden. It's like, it's Madden. I it's guess. Like Madden. People get mad of Call like I love the Madden Call of Duty comparison. People get mad at freaking Call of Duty being the same game over and over again. Madden is the exact same game over and over and over again. Well, at least I mean, I mean, the game of football doesn't change, but I mean, you know, yeah. even with Call of Duty, you still have story mode, which I do know a lot of people do stick with that franchise solely for the story. Yeah. I have a couple of friends right. actually who will I buy the game them. and. Okay, so uh, so case in point, you buy it for the story. You probably don't care. I mean, you'll play multiplayer, but it's not why yeah, you're getting the game. It's not my driving force. My my biggest thing is like you know when I when I talk to people about Call of Duty or whatever shooter, um, I'm always like you know I I did like the campaign. I didn't like the campaign or whatever. They're like, who the hell plays it for the campaign? I'm like, if I'm gonna spend sixty five dollars and sixteen cents. I better have a very well-rounded game all around, not just a good multiplayer, which makes Titanfall good because you don't have campaign in it. Actually, what I like about it is it kind of ties campaign into the the multiplayer. Um, So what it is is at the beginning of each match, like uh, when it counts down like ten to one at the start of the match, like as soon as it hits five, you hear a guy saying like warp jump in five, four. Like he actually counts down. You're leaving from orbit down to the place where you're going to be attacking. And then uh, when it reaches three, that's when you get to select your loadouts or whatever. You can do that real quick. You got a separate Titan loadout and a separate like a unit loadout. And so uh, when that happens. Basically, and then you all jump out of the the drop ship. You get to run real fast. You got jetpacks. You can run on walls. You can so shoot plays, people. So it face. plays vertically as well as horizontal. Extremely vertical. You can get on top of anything. Yep. Um, it's not like Call of Duty yeah, yeah. where you have this box that you can't climb up on, and it's really frustrating. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. they have invisible geometry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I have not ran into invisible geometry. Like if it's there, you can climb on it. Obviously, the edges of the map. Um, but they have like oh, yeah. very, they have very interesting ways to lead you away from the edges of the map, so you're not noticeably bumping into the invisible walls. Like you, I've never actually bumped into them. I purposely ran into one um, on purpose to see where it was at, but I've never accidentally did it. So um, I was really testing it on that part. But yeah, Titanfall ran smooth for beta, and I was in the, the open beta part. I didn't get to play it. Um, the only max level we got to is 14, and I did that in an hour, but I'm pretty sure they boosted it. They speeded up the level system just for that. Um, but yeah, so other than that, that's too- So you'll be playing some Titanfall when it comes out is what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, even, you know, even uh, initially when you when you just start and you have your iron sight, like, even that you can play rather well with. Um, probably one of the more innovative things I really liked about it was uh, when the match is over, it's not really over. You have to run back to your ship. You've got, what is it, like, 30, what is it, 30 seconds, a minute? I think or something so. Like that? Well, so you're trying to survive for that last minute to get to your ship, and hopefully it doesn't leave without you. Well, what happens is when the game ends, it becomes a game of search and destroy, essentially, where you get one life as soon as the game ends. Yeah. And uh, but if you died before then, and like then the game ends, you get one respawn after you know it lets you come back and try to escape. But again, um, it's just you know I, I I like 
that part about it, not, you know, just kind of like that Call of Duty, you know, everything goes, you know, gray, and it's just like, you know, ah, oh, sucks, team. You know, we won't let this happen again. Yeah, it gives you a little like, bonus. It, it keeps going, it goes on. Yeah, um, but the reason why they did that is uh, they this game's really emphasizing the new people to this game, and it's a new IP, and they really want people that has like never played a shooter before play and like real well. And it's very user friendly. Yeah, um, I found it extremely user friendly. So it was easy to pick it up, just pop it in and start yeah. playing. You didn't need Pretty to much, go I mean, of course training. there's learning. Of course there's a learning curve like there is with any other game, but yeah, uh, right. definitely, definitely one of the easier and a lot smoother. Uh, games, especially for a beta, definitely. And I will tell you, this game this game may get, make us get rid of Gary Camper. <laughs> I don't know. Gary Camper might be coming, like, have, have come back in April. There's no pizza like New York pizza being from... Absolutely. Hands down. I have never had pizza in any other state but New York. We're going to keep it that way. Yeah, it, it's good. You can buy the Sicilian pizzas and people don't know what you're talking about when you say what a Sicilian pizza is. It's a square pizza, and it, the dough is raised a little bit. It's higher. a pizza where they tell you what it is you're gonna have. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have. Pineapple. Hey, you like pizza? Yeah, I like pizza. Good. You like pineapple on you like pineapple on your pizza? <laughs> Don't you? I deliver you a nine pizza with nine millimeter bullets. <laughs> What's that? Oh my god. That's a German pizza. <laughs> Get down! This is my pizza right now! <laughs> Thank you! I want my pizza with pepperoni and sausage! Do it now! <laughs> Wouldn't that have been weird if that's what he ended up doing for a living instead of becoming Arnold like Conan? Arnold Schwarzenegger is little pizza boy. Get down! Get your calzo now! <laughs> See, you're not the only one who can do voices. <laughs> he does his Cobra Commander, I have my Arnold, so uh. <laughs> I have my average white guy. Pizza man! <laughs> Get out, Cobra Commander! I'm going to break you! you got Give me my pizza! Apparently, I have that voice from the chick from Saved by the Bell. I don't know. <laughs> no, the, the I knew it sounded from, familiar. King of Queens. Oh, yeah. You know, and then I have to say this. I'm so out of touch with the world. You could have actually been on Saved by the Bell and could be that girl, and I wouldn't know. No. That's how out of touch oh, I am. Oh man, in the I should have convinced you of that. Yeah. Uh, that been, yeah there, there you go. There's 500 views for us on here, YouTube. Here we go. <laughs> She's prettier than the girl on on uh, King of Queens. Here's a way to get your viewing up. Um, people have You're told me that to I look like. You're not allowed to lift your shit up, just saying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> what? You cannot do that. No, you can't do that. Freedom. I, I, did, <laughs> I, what I, want. I did that. I did that. We lost 10 subscribers. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah. You're not, you know. And they were our only 10 subscribers. <laughs> we have 68. We have 68 subscribers, damn it. Right on. Can we get 60. to that magic number? I'm not trying to be funny. 69? <laughs> Subscribe now. Can somebody do it please now. take us Oh, my God. Go to youtube.com slash lagging out and subscribe today. Folks, you are watching Lagging Out, and we are actually doing this show. We're um, off the rails. We're, we discuss uh, video games, uh, nerd stuff, science fiction movies, comic books, and things like that. Oh, um, Get down! Get down! Rag on other people and be really right? No, we're not mean to people. Are we, we just tell it like mean? it is. Are we, we being mean? Like we're not, not being, I don't think we're being mean. Have we been mean? I don't think we've been a no. mean show. No. I don't know. She's, You're defending yourself pretty heavily. Well, I don't want people to be intimidated if they want to come on here. We're not here to make people Bash. feel bad. Yeah. Why? Did, did we make you feel bad just now? It's all fun. Did we make She's, you feel bad just now? It didn't make me feel bad. I didn't I'm say anything about me. She's a she she she's a she's a New York girl. She got a thick she got a thick skin. So you, I do. Pretend she's we, she's like she's from the same area I am from in Long Island. So as I so, was saying, you are yeah. watching Lagging Out, and apparently we're now mean to people. I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, and uh, if you, uh, we are sponsored by uh, Gamer Gloves. Go to thegamergloves.com, and if you want to save 15% on your next pair of Gamer Gloves, be sure to type in, you ready, folks? Here it comes. Drum roll, please. 
Type in L-A-G-G-I-N-O-U-T into the coupon code. You'll save 15% on your next pair of gamer gloves. Wear what the pros wear. Keep your hands dry, comfortable. You can also use them for working out. Everything. Also, a uh, special thanks to uh, Cursed Underground Gaming. You can visit them at facebook.com slash Cursed Underground Gaming and the Fierce Gaming Females, and you can find them on Facebook as well. Um... And if you're watching the show and you like what you're seeing, do us a favor. Go subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. We post the show uh, uh, the following Wednesday after we broadcast on Sundays. And uh, be sure to follow us on Twitter. And do us a favor. Go like our Facebook page. Everything is all of those extensions, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, dot com, dot com, dot com, slash lagging out, L-A-G-I-N-O-U-T. And we were talking about, uh, what were we talking about? We were finishing up talking about the Titanfall beta, and then we were going to talk about another game that um, another we game make a with, special uh, announcement. Yeah, kind of a special, interesting something something for our viewers. Yeah, a little, a little something something that's kind something. of exciting. Yeah, I was kind of excited about it. Um, I've been reading a lot about it. Um, a so lot of people. Wait, been, real quick, let's finish up Titanfall real quick. So on the whole, oh, sure, the, two you, the two of you would think would say because because um, Chief and I haven't played it. The two of you pretty much are. Are your fans of the game, and even though, like you were saying, Minx, you like a lot of single-player stuff. But everything I'm hearing so far about Titanfall, it's all multiplayer. There's no real single-player campaign to it, and that's yeah, it's I all mean, right with you. Yeah, I mean, like just because you know I'm more of a solo player doesn't mean that I don't like campaign. I love campaign. It's just most of the can. Um, I'm sorry, multiplayer. Just because most of the multiplayer that I play is on Call of Duty, and I get really, really sick and tired of the nine-year-old little right, right, right. The things I can't yeah. say. You well, just can't well, that's, avoid that. Well, that's why I you have to join Cursed. you gotta, you got to join Cursed Underground Gaming. You're always in a squad of six. We always win, and we smash those kids, and they leave the room. Crying. Cursed Underground Gaming. Check us out on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Plug in accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we hit gold in Clan Wars. We're up by 150 points in Clan Wars, so big ups to uh, Curse of Ground Gaming for uh, hitting gold. But I'm going on a tangent. In Call of Duty, right? Call of Duty, right, yes. A thousand yes. strong and growing, folks. Cursed Underground Gaming. Check us out. We're like Flintstones Vitamins. One thousand strong and growing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Some of our new viewers won't know what that is because now they're SpongeBob Vitamins. Hey, speaking of new viewers... Um, We've got a whole one here from somewhere. Thanks for watching, Mom. <laughs> thanks, Dark Side. Uh, thanks, Dark Side Drums. That's probably a special shout out to him too. He does our theme music, so and watches yeah. every week. Thank you very much. And uh, and we're sorry. So I guess is it time for this? No. Yes. yes. Is it time oh, for this? I guess yes. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, God. Please, Please don't, don't let us lose viewers. Please don't do that again. That's going to scare <laughs> people off. We're going to get banned from Twitch. If you're watching us on Twitch or YouTube, folks. You're watching Lagging Out. Uh, I'm your host, Funny Guy, uh, with my co-host, Chieftain. Uh, both of us uh, game industry professionals, lifelong gamers. Um, as is Moabat and uh, Mobiti, sorry, and uh, Lethal sorry. Minx. Um, so... Uh, one of the things I've done over the years in the industry is uh, I've been lucky enough to work on a lot of different very cool games. Uh, one of the things I've not always been able to do is say what I've been working on uh, when I'm working on it. However, I can't say much more than this uh, due to you know uh, the fact NDA. that I have an NDA. Um, however, if you do want to get more information uh, about the project that I'm on, um, you will be able to follow that up. Uh, I'll be able to give you the websites that are out there. So if you're watching the show and you've been read uh, Game Informer um, or have been watching any of the videos on YouTube over the last week or so, uh, one of the games that's been coming to mind for the Xbox One, uh, amongst other platforms, is a game called Evolve. And uh, I am lucky enough to be uh, working on the game. Get a shot uh, of her doing that. As a tester. <laughs> and uh, basically, if you want to find out more information on Evolve, uh, you can go to evolve.com or uh, just go onto Facebook and search Evolve and go like the Facebook page, and you can keep up with all the latest news and announcements. Uh, there's also a page uh, on Game Informer uh, for it. Um, and basically, just you know, go type into Google Evolve, and uh, you know, um, 
that's about all I can tell you. And don't so, you ever? Uh, oh, and one other thing. Too, one right? thing I do have to. One thing I can tell us uh, is that I am going to be lucky enough. Uh, to get a copy of February's Game Informer uh, signed by uh, all the members of the studio. And uh, we will use that. Uh, th uh, their kindness uh, is going to enable us to put together something for a nice little uh, prize package at the end of the year, which will include the February issue of Game Informer with Evolve on the cover signed by the studio. So, uh, so you were able to get, to get in that. On that Awesome. Yeah. So, um, in order to get uh, your name in on that, uh, what we do is we have a trivia question uh, after at the end of every show, and you go onto our Facebook page and uh, post your answer. The first person with the right answer um, basically gets their name put into a hat. And uh, of course, we're going to have other contests this year as well to um, you know accumulate give give a lot of people a chance to uh, win this. Uh, Prize. It's gonna be pretty cool. We can give the answer to last week's, uh, the last show's trivia question if we can, because we have a new one. But this one, since no one can get that one, was too hard. Um, but uh, the question was on our last show: What was Funny Guy's pick for Game of the Year? I do. You do. I do. <laughs> Minx don't know. She's seen see no evil, speak no evil, and Moa Beauty don't I'm know. I'm here standing in for Zombie. But you weren't um, here when we did that show, either. You weren't here when we did that show. Oh, you you, you would do broadcasting, but you weren't I here. was broadcasting, and I was listening. I can throw a wild stab in the dark. Well, what is it? <laughs> I'm going to say it's probably Battlefield. Nope. No, it's not, I, actually. GTA Five then. <laughs> That's right. There's his the only two, there's only two games that he talked about. No, <laughs> I, talked about I talked about Ghosts. I talked about uh, Battle. Well, I haven't played World of Tanks yet, but that was this year. And that's not last year. I right. played more than those games last year. Those I games just stuck with me. Right. And this week's uh, trivia question is another funny guy trivia question. Yeah. Very popular funny guy. Yeah, very popular. <laughs> so, who's coming up with these questions? There's all of that. I don't know. I don't really know if I want it to be that question. I think that should be the question on the next show. Well, you know what? I already made the graphics for it. You know what? <laughs> I already showed the graphics for it. <laughs> already showed the I didn't even read the question yet. <laughs> I made the graphics already. It's already done. <laughs> this is why you have to read the production notes before the show starts. You're killing me. You're killing me. What game is Funny Guy currently working on? We just told him. Right? That's not, that's not a question. Yes, that question next week, so they go back and back. We have oh, we yeah. have 400 people viewing, and that's a lot. You think everyone's going to watch the entire show? Get down! <laughs> me and you are going to have a talk after the show, Funny Guy. Why is that? Yeah. I think that's a really good question. I was just kind of improv in there, and I just I, I know. I Thanks. A really good You're getting. I'm buying you Photoshop so that way you can make new graphics. I have Photoshop. Oh, then I'm I sending you the file. You make everything in the old fireworks, and then I clean it up in Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. You're so dead. <sighs> Not well. No. Protect him. You know, he yelled at us on the first episode of I season didn't two. Yell at anybody. He was telling us that we were not supposed to do certain things, me and Zombie Killer. It's because he just gave, yeah, gave well, us up and half bombs. But that's like, like you no, know, I don't think that's a big thing to ask. <laughs> I don't think a big thing to ask is going, stop doing the ums and the uhs during the show because I have to cut those out in post. Well, I don't I think guess. that's a big thing to ask either. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> Such a D. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. I swear I'm gonna kill him. Oh god, if someone so, just uh, So uh, we got one more thing uh um uh to read. Uh you sure? uh, my throat's starting to hurt now. Uh, like, my, my, uh, you know, I wouldn't have so many of those if the Forty thousand dollar teleprompter I had in front of me worked. Um, listen, listen, Obama. Listen, you're the head writer. You listen, write. It I don't out. have a teleprompter. I got. This is my teleprompter. Just want to let everyone know on on lagging out. Funny guy is a head writer, but I have to write everything. 
I, I just want you all to know. know. I come up with ideas and tell them what to write. I just want you all to know that funny guy may have problems reading because he's wearing sunglasses indoors. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. no really that is an interesting theory, which is why I switched to the um, Bono glasses. I wear sunglasses because our future is so bright we got to wear shades. <laughs> and it allows me to maintain somewhat of an eye contact with the audience while I read. Honestly, I think you should copyright that little, uh, little catchphrase there before Kesha steals it. Yeah. Who? What? Don't worry about it, right? I don't even know who Kesha is. What are you talking about? I have no idea who that is. I'm lucky I know who Macklemore is, okay? Macklemore, sure. He'll use that, too. And then I, have a duet with Kesha, okay. I would be thrilled if Macklemore watched this podcast. I would be absolutely... He could steal whatever he wants. Knock his ass out. Please, by all means, loop me. Loop, 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 loop me. <laughs> In your right, so, 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 so. You forget, I grew up with Max Headroom. Uh... <laughs> All right, moving on. So. Hey, uh... Oh, my God. <laughs> we are off the rails again. I can't Jesus, wait till we're like, in know. season three, hopefully. <laughs> When we're extremely popular, they come back like and watch all the beginning I, stuff. Yeah, I know. They, uh, once we have a following, they'll go back and watch all the old stuff. That's what it's like. Wow, no. these, guys, these guys were never good. <laughs> <laughs> How did they get money? <laughs> uh, hey, are you interested in sponsoring this show? No. I bet you I are. <laughs> um. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like Sarah McLaughlin's, you know, in, in the arms of an angel should come up now. It's just like, would you like to sponsor Lagging Out? For only a dollar. You can... <laughs> For only a dollar. You can, you can help these guys make some t-shirts. Or what yeah, would be even better. better. Pictures of us in slow motion looking all sad, you know. Like... Yeah, it plays that music and goes on. That funny guy eating from the 99 cent menu. Like, I can see really good hungry. puppy eyes. For five cents to subscribe, you could feed these guys for a day. <laughs> and yeah, don't forget, we're going to be at uh, South by Southwest uh, in about yeah. two weeks. Um, you can meet me and Chieftain there uh, if you're in the Austin, Texas area or at the event. Pretty big event. Uh, we'll be there. Uh, Four million people are scheduled to show I don't know. Up. We'll be doing our usual shenanigans, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if we're going to broadcast live from there or not or what. Yeah. We're going to see how what the setup is when we get there. Yeah. See if we can I don't, really I don't do it think or. we're going to be broadcasting live. But we are going to do, we have a camera person, so we're going to be able to go around and entertain, create entertainment for you all. We'll it's have mics with us. It'll be like you're there, but with us. Again, we're sorry. <laughs> Thank you for getting that, Lethal Minx. I appreciate that. I, I saw you laugh at that. I didn't hear you laugh, but I saw it. Thank you. You got the yeah, laugh box okay. there. <laughs> What was that? I didn't hear. I said thank you. So how do people, problem. I'm going to let you feel this. It just is an image here that says win a t-shirt for a dollar. Oh, okay. <laughs> Want to win a t-shirt for a dollar? Check out our link on Facebook or go to GoFundMe.com and enter the word lagging out to enter and win our limited edition, limited edition first ever t-shirt. Yes. We are trying to raise about... We're trying to raise $943. Just check out our Facebook page. You'll see the image. It says Lagging Out. It has a Lagging Out t-shirt there. It's our bar logo. Um, $1 is equals to one chance. $5 equals 10 chances. And $10 equals 20. It has the link on the page. And you just click on the link on our Facebook page to donate today. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. <laughs> we appreciate you. Yes. They're We're really going to use these... We're going to use these t-shirts for giveaways, and we're also going to put it on our online store when Funny Guy gets off his ass and actually redevelops the website for us. We yeah, and I really we need food, to sell so first. Donate. I tell you that. I can make a store all day long, but I can't make a store if we don't have something to put there. Right. I got. I, we also have buttons, too, so we're going to be selling buttons as well. Yeah, we will be selling buttons uh, very soon. Yeah, so we'll have buttons so and t-shirts. Start lagging out <laughs> by purchasing a button. Yes. You should, uh, you well, you should get a t-shirt and then and start, you can try wear, to see. It. <laughs> wear it with enjoyment. Is that everything? <laughs> Maybe. <Yeah. sighs> and then some? 
Have you had a good time tonight, Lethal Mix? I had a wonderful time. Excellent. We had a Thank very nice so time. Much for me. Here's a better question. Would you, Would you like to come back? <laughs> I'll come back. Well, you don't give them a choice. You never. Do you want to come back? There you go. <laughs> this, is, this is why he said. That's why. He, that, this is why he said Twitch broadcasts are not it. Yeah, I'm very right. right. You know, I'm a better you, announcer when I'm by myself. Choice, you say, did you have a good time? She says, yeah. She says, would you like to come back sometime in the future? You, do you want to come back? Well, if it was Not me, really, no, actually. I, I, I'd rather watch paint dry. You know. Um, <laughs> I'd rather watch Bob. Watch, uh, I'd rather watch grass grow. <laughs> that's fun. You know, just look over here. Right. We want to thank you for tuning in to Lagging. Uh, I've been Funny Guy on behalf of Chieftain Morbidi and the Lethal Minx. We want to thank you all very much for watching uh, this week's episode. Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll see you in two weeks. Actually, we'll see you at South by Southwest in two weeks. Chieftain? Game over, bitches!